Hello, I'm Craig Powers from ASUG News, and I'm here live in the ASUG News studio at ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now. And today I'm excited to have uh, two gentlemen here to talk about uh, the next generation manufacturing analytics at Albemarle, which is a, it's a, it's a tough one to say, but uh, with me is Jeremy Fisher from Mar Albemarle and, uh, and Mark Albers from Hitachi. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you. Nice to be here. Great. So when you're talking about next generation analytics, uh, what, what, is, what is the roadmap looking like for Albemarle? So we um, were invited by uh, Albemarle about one and a half years ago to help them think through their BI strategy. Uh, where do we want to go in the next few years with the whole topic of BI analytics and data warehousing? Um, originally, we didn't really think that we needed HANA uh, at all to mm -hmm. support the use case. Because once we started talking about some of the challenges that Albemarle was facing, some of the problems they wanted to address, um, it made sense to put in HANA into the picture. Um, so we made that part of the, the roadmap and the reference architecture. Mm. And then we identified um, one of the main areas that needed help in the short term, and that was around uh, manufacturing analytics. True, and, and, and like most chemical companies, manufacturing analytics and driving those from the, the plant floor is a very difficult situation. Uh, we're old SAP shop, we're old analytics shop, but we, we had to bring something new to the table when we have yeah. things that don't have source systems. Oh, so yeah. HANA sits there as a platform that we can use not only to report, it's not a database, we can also use it to capture data. Oh. Putting it on one platform, managing it that way, and a smaller use case like manufacturing analytics and continuing yeah. to use it as the world changes. That's great, using HANA for, you know, usually you hear HANA as analytics, but capturing the data, that's that's a great use case of HANA. So, what, uh, you were talking a little bit about it there, but what, what are the benefits that you're hoping to achieve, you know, a, as you move, I know you're still pushing through the project, but what are the benefits that you're hoping to achieve by the end game? The, the benefits are learning how to take a use case like this and expand it to our global businesses. In fact, we're in the middle of a major integration project with Rockwood Holdings that we've just purchased about three months ago. So we now live in a world where the situation changes every day. We need a platform like HANA to change with it. And it's not your traditional long-term IT SLDC. Right. It's, I need to move fast because we have a different metric today, we'll have a different one tomorrow because the street wants answers, the shareholders want answers, and our communities want to want to make sure we're doing as well when we're helping them out. And you, you guys have mentioned a couple, uh, you were mentioning, uh, well you were mentioning how you, you learned through the process that you, you needed HANA, and I'm sure you learned that as well. And so what other lessons have you been learning maybe that you could pass on to, a, to another customer? Uh, the, the lessons are: it's, it's a great tool, it's a great platform. It's it's not a it's not a magic wand though. You're not going to bring it in and it just all of all of a sudden works for you. Different skill sets for different use cases, and you have to apply, get good partners, and find the way to get through those. But you'd much rather work off of that than a whole bunch of different SQL servers or a different collaboration tool. So. The, the, the thing is, is let the, t let the tool be there, but get a good team around you, and, and I feel we have that at Albemarle and with Hitachi here as well. What were the steps you took to, you know, not only uh, work with Hitachi, but build that team? Um, well, well we, had a de we had a really good analytics team in place that had built most of our analytics environment for the last eight years. Uh, so they were already there, so we had experience doing it bringing Hitachi in to help us understand the new world as, as Mark will keep telling me time and time again, you take the blinders off because yeah. <laughs> we tend to think in our old ways and not the way that that the new world can be with S4 coming, with all those worlds coming. Right. So you, you build that team by finding people that are diverse and they aren't that one specialty person. Right. You find somebody that can learn with the technology and grow with it and, and that's the team you really need in this future scape. And to build the, the team for the manufacturing analytics solution, it was a cooperation with um, IT with the CPM and the finance group, but also with the manufacturing group uh, and Hitachi. So the four of us work together to uh, understand what the real needs are and then to develop and deploy the, the, the solution. A key part was also the training. We introduced a couple of different uh, business objects, BI tools, including Lumera right. and Analysis for Office. So we spent a lot of time on um, thinking how to deliver this, this training to this global, uh, this global audience. And uh, just because you brought it up, um, with Lumira, we got about 30 seconds, but 
What is the uh, what's the sort of training that you think is needed for that? I know it's supposed to be a self service service analytics tool. What sort of expertise are you looking for people to use that? Your, your front line can use it to your your heavy IT user. Uh, it's like every business objects tool that you got to have the use case, and you got to realize it's a very good visualization tool right now for about three to five key figures at one point. But mm -hmm. the ability to visually tell a story when we're in this world where we have to tell it fast. That's 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 what you need, and your but your front line guy can do it. We well, can hand that to people. That's great. You know, it's great to hear that you you have your front line people, back line people. It sounds like having a good analytics program is is a is a is a whole team effort. Exactly, I would agree with you wholeheartedly. Great. So I appreciate you guys coming on. It's a it's a thank great you. story, and um, I'm, I'm sure people will love to hear it. Yeah, well, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching. For more customer stories like Albemarle head to asugnews.com.